Hey guys, happy January 1st, 2019. Ted from Pew View Farms here. Hey, just wanted to give you guys a uh, quick update on what's going on today. Uh, day off, so lots of stuff to be done around the farm, and uh, I'm going to try to tackle on a couple projects, maybe small ones inside the house. And clean up. Because if we look, we have a strew of barrels laying around in the mud pit. <laughs> if you look at the house, we have fascia that's missing. We had one heck of a windstorm last night. I can almost guarantee winds were gusting up to 60 miles an hour. Uh, rumor has it that there is power lines down everywhere. We did not lose power. We're very fortunate. Um, but a lot of other places did lose power last night. And uh, uh, here's to the linemen out there right now working on their day off, making sure everybody gets their power back on. Uh, kudos, guys. Kudos. Um, but yeah, just going to start the uh, Kubota up and uh, unhook the manure spreader. And uh, we're going to make our bale run today. Usually I bring back... Uh, Eight bales usually when I do a run and uh, that's pretty good for about a week and a half so that's what we're gonna be doing all right let's get this baby started up I don't think we need that on yet tractor always seems to start better when you don't have that accessory running do a little glow plug action there we go. Purring like a cat. Now we can uh, turn our heat on. Hop out of this bad boy beast and uh, let her warm up for about 15 or 20 minutes. With all the windows out and everything and uh, get the spreader unhooked. So we can hook up to the spear. Actually, I think I'm going to use pallet forks. Uh, my bale spear has uh, gone through hell and back recently, and uh, it doesn't lock on to the uh, skid steer plate really well right now. I mean, it does, but when you get a heavy load on it, a lot of times it'll fall off, and uh, we don't need that happening going down the road. All right, what there you're looking at is a uh, bale of baleage that came from that oat field. That is the last bale in the tube. The rest of the bales in the tube are our second crop, just hay grass, and uh, I thought this stuff turned out really well. It didn't mold, it smelt good, but let me tell you what, they just, they don't have a fancy for it. Uh, now I bring uh, that other stuff over, it'll be gone in a day. But this stuff's been uh, getting fumbled around in the feeder now for about a week, so I guess it's time to... Dig it out and uh, push some fresh in there and uh, you know, throw it in the spreader and we'll break it up. Well, there was three barrels. Yeah, we just picked those up out of the driveway. The third one is a wall. So if that tells you anything, it was windy last night. Hey everybody say good morning to Bull. Good morning, Bull. Grump. All right, we're gonna hop in the skid steer and get this beast started up. We'll see how lucky we are today. Yep, gotta make sure the seatbelt's locked. Oh, blast off. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, guess what? It's cold out. All right. We're going to let this... Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> We're going to let this bad boy warm up for 15 minutes. Question for anybody. Why on earth does this thing have like a hydraulic creep? Uh, not mechanically inclined enough to... Uh, decipher that and uh, it creeps one side it has a mind of its own usually it's backwards today it's forwards now just curious 
I don't know if it's my hydraulic pump or something's going bad or if there's a valve that's plugged. But uh, yeah, it would be nice to fix. But hey, it's been like that for four years and we've managed. So, okay, what we got going on here is we're going to be graining the animals. But I'm going to take you guys along on this ride because it's kind of interesting. We have to play a game with these guys because as soon as you go out with the buckets out there to the feeder, they uh, surround you and it's very, very hard to get to the feeder. So, we have to trick them. So we are going to run all the way out here to the other side of the lean-to. Make them think that uh, they're getting their grain in here. Come on, bossy! Come on, boss! Come on, boss! Come on, bossy! This is like a mad dash right now. We got most of them coming in. Now we will dump the grain and run like hell. <laughs> try to get the grain dumped in that feed without falling in the mud. Oh shit. Whoops, dumped half the grain. We managed to get the other barrel in there. Was not easy. There you go, buddy. Actually, no, that's my heifer. Oh, yeah, it's a game. Because as soon as they see those buckets, they know what's going on. And So, yeah, like I said, uh, definitely got to do something different. Be a heck of a lot easier to maybe install that feed gate and one more and one more and feed them right through there. For the hundred and fifty two dollars for one of them it's well worth it because one of these days it won't be good I'll be laying in that Like to begin with, we're not ready. Come on. Oh boy. All right, we are unhooked. All set to go. So we're gonna get this bucket off of here and uh, put the pallet forks on. Whoa. Hey, hey, nope, didn't dead. And in the process, I am tearing my lawn up. Uh, yeah, I think Pew Pew Farms is going to be in need of a landscaper this summer. We got the feeder cleaned out, and we are gonna head over the street, grab some bales. I'm gonna take you guys for a ride.
Well, that's a plus. I honestly thought I was going to come up here and uh, being how that uh, bottom hole for the bottom of the doors is busted, so they just kind of move freely for the winds last night. I figured these things were going to be shot, laying on the ground, who knows. So I guess we got kind of lucky. Bet you they were moving now. Now actually the pallet force works really well, I think, for round bales. If you have them adjusted all the way to the outside. Ow, I just hit my head. Damn it. If you have them adjusted all the way to the outside, they create a little bale pretty nice. Even uh, you know, putting them on the bale wagon, I think they work out pretty good. So let's grab our first victim. Okay guys, and that concludes the B, single A, single L, single E, R-U-N, bail run. Uh, we are done. Uh, did not get a whole lot of video footage of uh, running the tractor. Uh, we had some complications with the phone. Um, so, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, and look forward to talking to y'all here real soon.